Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. Every business needs a website and photographers are certainly no exception. Since they're in such a visual business, photographers need to have a presence online to display their work to prospects and reveal photos to clients who've already completed a photo shoot. All this can be done on popular platforms like WordPress and other do-it-yourself website builders like Squarespace and Weebly. But there are dedicated platforms for photographers like Pixpa that are an all-in-one solution for photographers looking to get their business online. So let's dive into this platform and I'll show you what it can do. I'm logged in to a free trial account with Pixpa.com. Uh, when you log in, this is what it looks like. It tells me I'm working on my website. I can click here to view it. These three boxes are just shortcuts, um, kind of a guide to help you navigate through the process of creating your site. But I'm gonna go through these um, top navigational items here. The first one is website. So obviously you're building a website. So that's gonna be where you spend the uh, bulk of your time. Uh, I already created and chose my theme. They give you a number of themes to choose from. So I selected a theme and here you can see it. They have a number of uh, good looking, you know, modern themes that are image focused, which is what most photographers are gonna want. So on the right side, you can see the preview of the site with uh, four you know, large images and then the navigation is on the left. And then this toolbar here is actually the part of the website builder. So I can uh, drag things around to reorder the navigation and then I can edit each of these sections. So this theme has something called projects. So there are six of them. Each one is an image here. And if I click on one of the projects, I can edit the images that are within that project. There's a bunch of different um, tools and options up here for rotating, adding captions. You can add a contact sheet and then you can download images from here as well. So that's projects. And just so you understand what a project is, I'm gonna click preview the website. And then if I click on one of these projects, it opens with a gallery. Some of these are like this one's a video, YouTube video. And then there's just a short description and uh, you know, some other project info like the client. So that's a project, which is a little bit different from galleries. So I have two galleries on this site. If I click on one, it opens up a similar uh, type of editor where I can change the images and then I have all these options at the top. So if we go to the live site, let's see what the galleries look like. So this menu opens up into a sub menu and I can click one of the galleries and it looks very similar to a project. Not sure what the difference is. Um, it's just images, it doesn't have a video. So projects and galleries on this theme, I think are pretty much the same thing. They're just calling it something different for the sake of navigation. So on this site, there's also an about page and a contact page, proofing and store, which we'll get to. But before we move on, I uh, just wanna show you that you can add pages by clicking a plus uh, button here, the icon here to add content. And here's all the different types of content you can add. A gallery, you can add a page blog, a landing page, form, guestbook, calendar, client album showcase, an Instagram a feed widget. Um, here's your store. This one is a visual collection of content items. This is a drop down sub menu, a separator, a link, and an embed item to like embed HTML. So when you click on one of these items, this one's gonna actually uh, ask me to log into Instagram, so that's probably a bad example. Let's click on landing page, for example, and give it a name, click next, and then allows me to choose from these different designs. Click save, and it's gonna add this new landing page design, which I can customize with different sections, and then click save. If I close out of here, you'll see it added a new landing page to my site. So let me refresh. You know, I have this new landing page, which you could use for advertising or really whatever you want. So that's how easy it is to add to your website. I can also add, you know, a gallery. 
and that's going to add a new gallery page and then I would just add images or YouTube videos to it to create a new page. So it's real easy to add to these pages. The ones that were here by default were just uh, the default pages for that theme to get you started, but you can certainly add to them, uh, drag these around to reorder them, and then delete some that you don't need. If I wanted to edit this about page that was here by default, I can click the menu, and click edit content. That's gonna take me to the page editor where I can edit text. I can drag these items around. You see you have this toolbar on the left with a bunch of um, content options like tables. You can change uh, you know, the formatting of the text and the color. So it's real easy to just add to this page. I'm not gonna spend time clicking on all these buttons. Uh, you can edit the code. Here's how you drag sections around. So it's pretty user friendly interface. It's a little limited, but it's gonna be everything that a photographer needs to create a simple site. This banner here, uh, if you turn this on, it creates like a, a photo or video slider at the top that can be customized. So that's the website section. I could spend a lot more time in there, but I just want to give you an overview of how the website is created in Pixpa. The next section is store. And this is a pretty basic e-commerce setup. Uh, so the store that was already created by default on my site has these two products and I can click on a product. There's a description here with a video. I can add to cart. And then the cart is down here at the bottom right. And then you can check out just like you would on any e-commerce site. So to go back to the store settings, there's a dashboard that just shows your statistics. There's an orders list. Uh, I don't have any yet. There's abandoned carts, customer list, discount options. And then here's where you create products and you can uh, put them into different categories. And then here's settings for your uh, store. Just looks like some positioning of icons, color icons. There's also shipping options that you can create here to add a shipping rate. Tax rates, payment methods, which integrates with Stripe, PayPal. And then there's a watermark that you can add to images. I was kind of playing around with this and uh, you can add different text, change the font size and color. And I believe this would show in the proofing section, which we'll go to now. So the proofing section is where you would add albums for your clients. So if you take, uh, you do a photo shoot for someone, you upload the images and you want to give them access, you can create an album here. And I created this example album. So I just added four images to this album. And if I click view album, it shows me a preview of it. So your clients will be able to just click through, view their images. There's some options at the top, like favorite. This is a slideshow and you could share it or uh, expand it to full screen. So if I go back to settings, there's some different settings. So I go to album settings, a bunch of stuff here that's gonna be helpful for photographers. You can give it a name, you can give it an event date. You can change privacy options, like um, visitors have to provide an email address. You can make it private and protect it with a password. You can enable favorites, which allows clients to mark their favorite uh, images. And then you can enable or disable downloads of the images. A couple other options here, like album showcase, sharing, and searchability. The next section is design, so you can customize how the albums look on the site like layout, uh, the gutter, which is the spacing between um, the grid. If I click on activity, I think that's just gonna show me the favorites. So it'll tell you what people marked as a favorite and what they downloaded. Probably will also show you who viewed the images. So that's how albums are set up. So you'll get a, a link that you can share. If I click share here, it'll probably give me the link that I can share up to people. Looks like you can share it by text message with a phone number. So lots of options for creating albums and sharing them, which is gonna be obviously key for photographers. Looks like in the upper right hand corner, it says you get one gigabyte of space and then you can add more space uh, by upgrading. So that's the proofing section. Let's go next to design, which is basically a style editor for the entire website where you can change 
the logo. And there's a live preview that shows you the changes as you go. So you can change background color, header colors, footer colors. Here you can change the layout, so different spacings and paddings. Here's colors and fonts for the navigation, which is this right here. A few more options under content style. That looks like changing fonts and colors of fonts. You can change the gallery style, footer, and then there's some CSS changes for those who are more advanced. So that's the design section. I won't go through that in detail, but just so you know, you have the ability to, to make some of those um, more granular changes in the design of the site. The last section is settings. And I'll just kind of speed through this to give you an idea of what's there. There's account options and billing, basic site settings like your country, currency, time zone. You can add Google Analytics and password protection. Uh, here's where you connect your domain name. There's social media connections here, search engine optimization settings, redirects to redirect uh, pages within the website, payment methods, which I mentioned. Uh, there's a ton of integrations to some different uh, web services. Instagram, talk to for live chat, Google Calendar, Vimeo, YouTube, MailChimp. So a lot of options here to extend the functionality of your site some language settings, you can set up email notifications, newsletter subscriptions, and here again is the watermark which would add, I believe, to your proofing section on all your images. That way you could allow people to download them and share them, but it'll have the watermark on them. Another thing I should mention is that there are e-commerce options for your album, so you can actually sell downloads and prints. So to do this, you go in the proofing section, and then click on e-commerce and then there is a pricing sheets option there so there's self-fulfill which means you're printing and shipping or giving downloads so if you click on that you can set up your pricing here for different size prints or digital downloads single image full galleries and then they have another option if we click back can click add a pricing sheet and there's something there's a print lab called WHCC with which maybe uh, most photographers are familiar with it I have not heard of it but if I create a pricing sheet uh, looks like I would first have to enable that lab so I'm clicking around looking for those settings and under settings and then site settings you can enter your photo moto store id which is going to enable e-commerce for your galleries uh, through photo moto so you could see this help article here for more information on that so after some searching i was able to find the whcc print lab integration so that is under settings and integrations and you can go here to click on whcc so normally you could click this link but i'm noticing it is not uh, the correct reference so you'll want to contact them if you're interested in using WHCC integration um, and basically they would then drop ship uh, the orders to your website. They would print them and ship them for you. So there are options for um, self-fulfilling orders through your site and then having them drop shipped and printed by other print labs. So that is Pixpa in a nutshell. If you're a photographer looking to create a website, hopefully you found that useful. Uh, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and we'll see you on the next one.